Nobody, whoever gave his best, regretted it. Lou Holtz. I grew up in Long Beach, running track and playing football. After my first year really playing football and understanding the game, I felt like I had a special gift and I, I can go really far in this, in this process. The history of Long Beach Poly is very rich. I chose Poly because I want to make history, put my name in the books and be known forever. I am my biggest critic. I try to see what's my weaknesses so I don't have no weaknesses in my game. It's going to be the little things, not just the more extraordinary things that separate you from the other person. You got to have a hunger for it. It's just, it doesn't come easy. A lot of people think what I have came easy. It comes with hard work. It comes with dedication. It comes with time. It comes with sacrifice. A lot of people don't understand that, that they just see the, the finished product, but they don't see the, the hard work that you do behind the scenes. Sacrifices that you have to make not going out with your friend, trying to get it in. If you want to be the best, you gotta you gotta do what it what it takes to be the best. He's always been considered the best sophomore, the best junior. Now he's one of the best seniors in the country, probably in the top five. And my thing to him is why you're not number one. My new coach is Antonio Pierce, a former NFL player, linebacker for the New York Giants. So it's a great experience being under him and understanding what it takes. He brings that same mentality down here to the high school level. What I think they see is a guy who's genuine. He, he walked the path, right? He went through the process. Amon Marshall, he wants to be an NFL cornerback. I played with some great ones, Champ Bailey, Chris McAllister, and he's got all the makings to be one of those guys. All I do every day is just work hard and try to outwork everybody and think while I'm sleeping there's somebody else on the other side of town that's grinding and trying to go harder and trying to beat me out and trying to be the best. That's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the best to ever do it. He understands that he is a target. The one thing I tell them is to seize the moment, you know, seize the opportunity that you have in front of you. When you see other guys slacking, it is your responsibility by being the top player on this team to lead by example. When you just look at the skill set that he has to be able to cover a tall receiver, to go up against a speedy slot receiver, to come up and make a tackle on a 230-pound running back to take on a guard, I'm going to play quarterback for us if we needed to. He gives you the full package and that's impressive. My dream is to go professional, but also come back and help as many people as I possibly can. It's a lot of people that's been through my life that helped me tremendously. My family supported me a lot. They sacrificed a lot of time and effort to help me get to where I am right now. Now that I see the big picture, it really helped me tremendously. Being able to just be stable and enjoy everything that has to come, if it is in football, if it's not in football, just having a foundation to be able to take care of my family every day and having them having no worries at all. It's not always guaranteed that you wake up and be able to play another down of football. Make decisions that's going to better you as an overall person in the foreseeable future. Always be ahead of the curve. I remember my focus shifted after freshman year of football. Started getting letters for football. You know, I think my first letter was from Wisconsin. That's how I'm going to go to college. So I got I to keep playing to make it my focus.